Let's start out with an informal greeting from me to you. What's happening? Hey, up on Stacy, if you didn't know, check out my links down below. I rhyme for you. I gotta do this quick. I don't have a lot of time on my hands, but I do have time to answer this question for you. I got an anonymous question on Tumblr, and it reads, I've been talking to this girl because she seems really great and we have a lot in common, but she's in a relationship. Well, the other night she was drinking and started flirting with me and has been flirting ever since that night, even though she's still with this other girl. Should I assume it's okay to be doing this or should I stop before I get too attached? I really like her, sad face. I guess my question to you you is do you want to be with somebody or form a relationship or have this relationship long-term relationship or be in love with somebody would you want to be with somebody who cheats on you and has drunken nights and makes out or kisses or flirts or whatever it is do you want to be in a relationship where somebody is disrespectful to the relationship look here's the thing some people are gonna be okay with cheating and some people are gonna be not okay with cheating I am one to not be at all okay with cheating. I don't stand for it. I don't condone it. I don't like it. I just feel like there's no need for that. I mean, if you're not happy in a relationship, end it. Move on. There's no need to cheat. Talk it out. If that person's no longer making you happy, then move forward. Move on. Let them go find somebody else that makes them happy. That being said, some people are going to find flirting as cheating. Others are not. We all have our own opinions. So at that point, it's like whatever you consider to be cheating and the other person. And my opinion is I would not get involved in any shape or form with somebody who is flirting with another person while still being in a relationship. You're not being faithful to the person that you're with. Simplest put, if you're having to doubt, that's your answer. If you're doubting, it could be because you're scared. It could be because you know what's wrong and what's right. You know it is wrong or maybe it's right I don't know it's all up to you it's a it depends on you if you believe it's right or wrong but I would personally say don't get involved with somebody who would be willing to cheat or flirt or disrespect it's disrespect to the person to themselves to you and to the relationship she's still with the other girl so kind of speaks about the situation she's still with the other person she may be flirting with you but why would you want to be somebody's second choice why would you want to be somebody's side thing you know what I mean some people are cool with that but I mean I can tell that by your question, you're not you're not that type of person. You're scared of being attached, of getting too attached, but you know what you gotta do. If you're scared of being attached and you know that you're gonna be attached by it simply just flirting, then maybe you should take that step and, and go look somewhere where you know you are respected and not saying that you're not respected 100 percent by this girl but in my eyes you are not being respected because if she respected you as a person she wouldn't be playing with your feelings this way or she wouldn't be doing this for everybody out there don't be a homewrecker if somebody's in a relationship respect that move forward don't let them flirt with you if they try to flirt with you don't give in you know unless you like that kind of stuff then that's all you i'm sure that you wouldn't like somebody to come into your relationship or to come into the picture and do that but you just know where you stand when things like this happen you just know where you stand you know where that other person stands you know where the relationship stands, you know where your relationship with that person stands, you know where you stand to that person. These, these kinds of questions get me all jumbled up because there's so many ways that this could be interpreted, there's so many ways that this could go, but you know what's right, you know what's wrong, you know what you stand for, you know what you believe in, and stay true to that, stay true to that. And I know that you might like this girl a lot, but who's to say that she won't do the same thing to you if you two end up in a relationship together? That's something that you should always think about and ask and, uh, you know, don't be blinded by because yes, situations can change, situ people can change, situations can get better or worse you just never know but if she has the audacity to do that to her girlfriend to her relationship right now even if it's tiny to you even if it's small and significant you just never know what could happen to you find somebody who's incredibly is respectful and wouldn't even dream of doing that and, and is happy I mean, she's clearly not happy in her relationship if she was then she wouldn't even be doing this kind of stuff so think about that just have respect for yourself and have respect for other people. I wish it was a universal thing, but it's life. Some people are respectful, some aren't, some care, some don't. Also, you ask, should you assume it's okay to keep doing this? I personally think it's not okay. She's in a relationship and not with you. And I know that might sting a little bit, but that's the truth. I just try to be straight to the point. I just try to be real. I don't like sugarcoating things. I don't. So I try to say it how it is, and I don't mean to be mean in any of my videos or anything, but sometimes we need to just hear it how it is. And this is me telling you how it is. I don't see why it would be okay. I mean, but if it's if it's okay with you, then that's you. You 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 have your own beliefs, you have your own body, your own mind to think whether it is wrong or right or feel or whatever it is. I wouldn't suggest that you do that to yourself because you might end up with a broken heart. And I don't know you personally, but I do care. I want your heart to be happy. I don't want your heart to hurt. You know, and then again, the story could be different. Maybe you two would get together, she broke up with the girl, and you guys would have a happily ever after. The future is unclear. And that's not to say that this person won't change or, or do the same. You have to think about everything. You have to think about the whole 360 degree consequences, pros and cons 
cons and what could happen and all that stuff. Think about it in depth. Don't see it as a one-sided thing. Think about it all. And you can make your decision from there. You can gauge the situation. I think you should do you. You should do your own thing. I think you should let that go and don't fall into the home record category. But again, that's my view. Maybe we don't see eye to eye, but that's the beauty of the situation, that you can make your own decisions based on how you feel, how you see things, what you believe is wrong or right, but don't make the mistake of making it all right. From you thinking it's not right, and from you not liking that or would not like that to be happening to you, from you not standing for it to because you're in the situation and you're the one dealing with it now you make it all right does that make sense like don't don't shift and shape it just because you want it to be all right because you were hoping that that's the answer that you, that you want it to be all right but i say the answer is clear if you're doubting it if you're questioning it and you don't know 100 percent and you're scared and you're nervous about it you have your answer right there it's different for everything and i always try to justify a whole bunch of things and i need to stop but i'm trying to think outside of the box here that's not a box but I'm trying to think outside of everything and try to hit as many points as I can. I know I want to hit all of them, please everybody. I wish you the best of luck and um, take care of your heart. And I know sometimes we have to get hurt and maybe this is just part of that, that you have to hurt, but you hurt and you grow, you gain strength and you become wiser and that's life. And we have to go through pain in order to advance in life, but it's all a learning process and you'll be okay in the end if things don't work out. Yeah, I think I've talked too much. So anyways, I just want to say thank you so much for asking this question. If you do have a question for me, anonymous, not anonymous, 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 you can ask me on my Tumblr, you can ask me on Instagram, wherever you want. If you ever had a crush on somebody who's in a relationship, show that like button a little bit of romance. If you're not subscribed, give that subscribe button a little love tap. Please don't forget to show all of my social medias a little bit of affection with a follow. And if there's one thing I want to call to mind, there are actually three. No matter the highs, the lows, always be sure, always be certain to do good, be grateful, and stay humble. See you next video. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-mm.